Welcome back to the North Star Show. This is episode 11, the Austin Casa version, or uh, Mark Messier, depending on who your favorite player is. I'm Bruce Krentz, I'm the mouthpiece for the show. Behind the camera, a guy that's very popular in Thompson, Paul Anderson, not quite so popular when he wore his Jets jersey to uh, Montreal Canadiens versus the Wild game. It's weird, it wasn't people calling out his name. Well, they were calling out his name for other reasons. So happy to have him behind the camera. We've got lots of great stuff coming up on the show today. We talked to Doug Corman. We're going to talk to some of the Pee Wee A's about the Prince Bershide tournament that's coming up. And we also do one minute with Charles Monge. I'm wearing the Artie Parker Athletics under the jacket today. These things were all over the high school the last couple of days. See a bunch of these? No? No, honestly, I haven't. Maybe, maybe I got bad info. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> maybe my, uh, my sources led me down uh, the garden path, but uh, these, these sweatshirts just came in. I got one because I support the Trojans as much as the North Stars. I've even got my number on the hood. thought that was kind of cool, even though I don't play for the Trojans anymore. I did a few years ago. Oscar Lafreniere is here with me. You were at the games, the last ones right before Christmas. Can you tell us what just happened here? Well, uh, in our first game there, I actually didn't play. I was doing uh, the stats. And uh, it might, was, it might have been for the best. Yeah, might have been. It was a it was a pretty close game. We uh, lost seven five there. But uh, the second game, that was quite the onslaught. Second game was a big one for you though. Uh, well, I actually managed to come up with a plus one. I came uh, fresh out of the box there, and uh, we got the second goal. It's all right. Se second goal and a bit of an 8-2 drubbing from the uh, Parkland Rangers. First one was 7-5, so we looked a little bit better in that one, but uh, still couldn't quite pull it out. Some uh, nonsense happening at the end of that second game, too. Muswagen and Nakbar both got misconducts. Yeah, that was um, the fights. It's kind of unnecessary, but it, when in a game like that, stuff happens. Frust but frustration, yeah. Frustration sets in. Oscar, we're looking forward to you getting uh, four or five, maybe six goals in this uh, last part of the season. Well, I'll try to make it happen, you know. <laughs> five or, or plus five or six <laughs> at the very least. Thanks for letting us know what just happened here. This is the North Star Show. Here we go. with Coach Corman back fresh after the break. I think you got your Christmas wish. All the guys seem to be back here healthy and happy and they look loose out in the hallway. Uh, hopefully we can get things going in the second half. What are you looking to do at practice this week to get ready for the games coming up this weekend? Uh, geez, Bruce, I think uh, we had a dry land training yesterday and uh, I think uh, a few of them might have uh, overindulged in hit, some turkey hit or the whatever. turkey pretty hard? Yeah, so uh, uh, just try to keep it... Uh, up tempo, uh, lots of things moving quickly. Uh, I think it'll take uh, uh, a little while. It shouldn't take long, but uh, take a bit to get our uh, game uh, legs back. Uh, so I think just keeping uh, things uh, quick tempoed and upbeat for the two ice times we got this week. And uh, uh, I don't think uh, the game of hockey is something, it's like riding a bike. I don't think you forget about it uh, very long. Doesn't take too long. Hopefully, if they weren't out practicing, at least they were watching some games on TV. I know I've been watching a bit of the minor hockey stuff here, and all of the kids look a little little rusty, so everybody's in that boat. And hopefully, the teams are coming up this weekend as well. They've got a bus trip, and we don't. So um, what do you think the guys got to do this weekend to get some wins? Oh, I think, uh, you know, we've always, uh, typically, we have good starts, so I think uh, we need a good start this weekend. Uh, uh, obviously, in both games, uh, stay focused. Uh, Pedal to the metal for 60 minutes, not uh, 50 minutes. Uh, stay out of that penalty box. Uh, stick to the game plan. And uh, um, I don't know, uh, watching some junior hockey, hopefully they watched over the Christmas break and uh, maybe learned some lessons from Canada. Uh, you know, my opinion was uh, uh, I don't think they played together as a team. Uh, uh, a lot of taking a lot of shots from bad angles and uh, I don't know, I just uh, didn't think they worked together well. So uh, hopefully they learned something there watching uh, those guys play and uh, uh, everything's positive and batteries are recharged and we'll have a good weekend. And the 
that nobody gets a free pass. Just last one, uh, we've got a, a long look up to the top of the standings between now and the end of the year. So uh, what's the message that you're going to be giving these guys to try to keep them motivated and keep them pushing hard through the rest of this season? Uh, well, we talked about it yesterday, actually, Bruce. Uh, uh, you know, let's uh, use the correlation of uh, uh, Mr. Ladd uh, with uh, the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, you know, they have some distractions in their dressing room trying to sign players for next year. Uh, I think as individuals, uh, they got a quarter of a season uh, to look at uh, what they have to do to sign a, a contract to play with the North Stars next year uh, or elsewhere. So uh, they got a quarter of the season to play hard and they got to sell themselves uh, um, why they belong uh, back with the North Stars next year or to promote their, themselves. Uh, to play for a junior hockey team and at the end of the day uh, uh, they're going to learn quickly uh, it's a business uh, at the next level and uh, even at this level uh, I've learned a lot this uh, uh, this year about uh, where responsibilities lie with coaches uh, and players and sometimes uh, finding that line uh, where that responsibility uh, hands off to the players from the coaches uh, it was a learning experience for me so uh, uh, hopefully they're starting to get some of this stuff. Uh, I'm not sure if they have, but uh, hopefully they will. <laughs> We've got a quarter season to find out, and I think, I mean, as much as they're all trying to make a name for themselves, or like you say, sign a contract with the North Stars or with somebody else that's coming here, I think they can learn from Team Canada in that just trying to be an individual isn't always the way to get there, and being a good team player even in this last quarter is what's going to make them uh, shine. Absolutely, Bruce, absolutely. Thanks, Doug. We'll look forward to putting some wins on the board, and especially this weekend coming up. Thanks, guys. You're watching the North Star Show on Shaw TV. This is a minor hockey moment, a chance for us to talk about all different aspects of minor hockey, from the parents through to the coaches and the players, and sort of some of the things that are going on around town. Joining me are a few people from the Pee Wee A team, Coach Kevin Jeske. I've got Materia Land, uh, Lavery Melstad, and Aiden Moore. S sorry, I missed your name. See, I had it written down right here, too. <laughs> um, so, Kevin, we'll start with you. Yeah. Team played a few games already this year. Yeah, we were down in the pond. We uh, won there, the B side. So it's really good. A good start to the year, and hopefully we can build off of that and do really good in our hometown tournament. Excellent. Yeah, we're looking forward to having you guys back here in town. Nice to see that you've started the year with a little bit of success. What sort of style do we see out of the Pee Wee A's this year? What kind of game do they play? Well, we're a gritty team. We dig hard and we work for that puck, and we work together as a team and. That's basically the motto of just sticking together as a team. It's not an individual sport, and it's what I tell the kids, and they build off of it. So It sounds like a pretty solid strategy. I mean, look at them. They're a tough-looking bunch. <laughs> Seems like a solid strategy, and it's going to make for some exciting games here on the weekend, I'm sure. We'll move over to you. You guys, uh, we'll start you off with a couple of softies. We like to do it that way. So uh, why don't you give me what position you play and what number you wear? I'm, I play center and I wear number 21. I am defense and I wear number 11. I'm right wing, I, I'm number 15. Number 15, so those are the numbers to watch out for on the weekend, uh, especially when we catch the games on Shaw. You're the guys that, that we want to see out there. Um, let's see, do you have any highlights from the year so far, things that uh, have been pretty fun to do? Maybe some of the favorite people that you play with? Um, I like to go to the Paw when, when we win, and I like hanging out with everybody. Right on. I just like, I really like going to Synthon, because I really like their arena. The, the Whitney Forum? Yeah, it's really big. It's a beauty. I mean, we love the CA, but the Whitney's probably second best in northern Manitoba. It is pretty fun to run around. I liked when we went to Cross Lake, and we played the Islanders. Highlight and, and why did you like that? What was fun about that? Um, playing against them. That's great. Actually, I got a chance to go with Murphy, my son, to Cross Lake a couple weeks ago. We had a lot of fun out there too. So it was good. Turning back to you, Kevin, coaching this team. Is this your first year coaching? Do you have some other um, experience? I've been assistant coach through the last six years, just in house league. But this is my first year going on as a head coach on a select team. So. It's uh, a lot of challenge and uh, new learning experience, but I'm looking forward to it. So, A little, di a little different than doing the, the coaching at the house league. I know there's a few, a few more questions, usually a little more feedback from the parents. Uh, parents are great. Uh, 
no coaches from the stands, so they're doing really good. They're uh, supportive in me and let me coach. And my uh, other assistant coach, uh, Sean Milstead and Mike Spence, uh, help out quite a bit. And it's it's been a good good year so far. And hopefully it can con continue. Right on, absolutely. It sounds like they're having a lot of fun. And uh, if you've got a good crew behind you and a good bunch of parents, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't get any better than that. Turning back to you guys quickly, just a little bit. Uh, what do you do other than hockey? Sometimes it's interesting for people to know what else you do. So what, I mean, hockey's a number one, of course, but what else do you like to do? I like to swim. Um, sometimes there's activities after school that I join, and yeah, I don't know. That's awesome, I love swimming. Um, I play lacrosse, soccer, I swim, and um, I join um, basketball teams in school. Oh, yes. What school do you go to? Burntwood. Burntwood. Um, I went to Juniper School, so I bleed yellow, but Burntwood's not bad. Um, I play games. I join the basketball team for our school, and I play soccer. Right on. And what school do you go to? Westwood. I knew that, but I wanted to ask. And you? Riverside. Riverside. Oh. What's your favorite school while we're at it? Well, I uh, live on Westwood, and that's where I went to school, so I went to Westwood. <laughs> You're bleeding green. My kids went to Westwood School, but you know what? I still have a, so I still have a soft spot for the Jaguars. I love those guys. We've got the uh, Prince Burshide Tournament coming up this weekend. You guys might not have known this. The Prince Burshide Tournament is named for two young guys that were probably 15, 16 years old that uh, fell through the ice on the Burntwood River, so they were two great hockey players, and unfortunately, both of them died and uh, the community came together and made up a tournament and put their names on it so we'd never forget about those guys and so that we'd think about safety on the river and stuff like that. So that's what the Prince Burshide Tournament is named for. It's coming up this weekend. Yeah, January uh, 8th, 9th and 10th and uh, we got a team from Rankin coming down too this year so uh, looking forward to them coming down and 11 teams in total so it should be a good turnout. Our uh, PWA games is Friday at uh, 1.15 to 3.15 down here in the CA, and then we got one at 5.30 and 7.30. And then our Saturday games are 8 a.m. and uh, 12.15, so looking forward to that. Great to see some people coming out to support and would be really appreciated. Absolutely. Are there a few other things going on with the weekend? I'm guessing there's an opening ceremony. Usually there is, especially at a memorial tournament like this. Anything else? Yeah, we're having ceremonies at 11.30 on Saturday. Um, not too sure what's going on. I haven't been involved in that aspect of it, but uh, it should be a good turnout. Um, also, too, there's the Landers Cup that's there, too, for another child there that uh, lost their life. So we got uh, it's nice to see the community, like you said, pull together for a tragedy and uh, build off of it for hockey. So it's good to see. Yeah, absolutely. I think there's free North Star tickets for the kids too, so a chance to come down and support the North Stars. I think you got to wear your jersey. That's the rumor that I heard. Just before we let you go, any things you're looking forward to at the rest of this season? What are you excited about? Um, I don't know. Not sure. Playing Cross Lake again, of course. I'm excited to go to Dauphin. Absolutely. Uh, provincials if we do, and all the other tournaments. Winning, winning provincials. Aiden, Lavery, and uh, Materia, thanks very much for joining us here on the show. Kevin, you as well. It's uh, best of luck on the weekend. Opening ceremonies at 11.30. Everybody yeah. loves opening ceremonies. They're so much fun. Uh, and then you guys playing at 12.15? Yeah, right after opening ceremonies, so it'll be good to see. So, And this is the 24th year of the Cup, so that's nice to see it's running strong still. So, Well, uh, 11 teams and having someone down from Rankin in it really is is great. That's, those are huge numbers for us, so it's going to be a really good weekend. Yeah, and it takes a lot of volunteers to organize a tournament, so thank you to all the volunteers out there that's helping this weekend from the past and the future, so right on, good to see. <laughs> Perfect, and thank you for volunteering and coaching. That's Kevin Jeske and the captains and assistants from the Pee Wee Ace right here on a Minor Hockey Moment. <laughs>we here for one minute with Charles Mojé. Uh, starting off, how was your Christmas? We're just back after the break. Did you get everything you wanted? Yeah, it was pretty good. Got some clothes and money, so you can't complain. Absolutely, and good times with your family. Yeah. Obviously. Sure. Uh, get a chance to skate at all? Uh, yeah, uh, three times. Had two practices and then uh, went, out to sh went out to Shinny one time. I think Coach Corman would have liked everybody to be out a little more than that, but we'll yeah. take three times. 
that's uh, pretty not bad. How do you feel your season's been going so far? What do you think you got to do to uh, to get some wins and maybe uh, make an impact in the second half of the uh, year here? I think we got to play a full 60 and you know not have any second period lapses and uh, yeah, I think we should be fine. And you individually, what can we look for from you to uh, maybe pick up your game just a little bit? Not saying that it's bad. See, that sounded bad. Uh, no, I just like to maybe uh, put up for a little bit of points and just help out the team and defensive and offensive zone and just play a solid game. I like that. One more before we get to the one minute. Uh, I've asked this one before. I love this question. So when I'm lying in bed at night dreaming about hockey, the play that I picture is I knock the puck down, kind of like just right in the slot, and then just rip it in when somebody's trying to pass it a couple feet off the off the ice. What's the thing that, that goes through your head uh, when you're lying in bed, falling asleep at night? I like to think I pick up the puck in my zone and uh, skate it down, and get round to the top of the circle and take a nice clapper and go top cheddar. <laughs> that's that's a beauty. It, it would last longer than mine too. My, my little fantasy goes too quick. Do you have one more minute? I know it's almost time to practice, yeah. but you got a minute? All right. This just in, I've never seen these questions and they're new for 2016. Any New Year's resolutions? Ah, uh, no. I don't like that. No, not into it? Mine is giving out more hugs. So far, so good. Morning or a night person? Uh, probably a night. Favorite video game? NHL 16. I love that. If you had gone caught, I might have just ended the interview right here and now. Who do you think your cleanest teammate is? Cleanest? Uh, maybe uh, Mikey. Mikey? I think we've heard Faulkner before, but I'm not sure. What's your favorite song at the moment? Your favorite song today? Mm. It's, a, it's a Kiss song. I'm forgetting the name, though. Ooh. Heaven's on fire. Shout it out yeah, loud. I'll go with that one. <laughs> Heaven's on fire. I'm a little embarrassed. Kiss is kind of my era. I should have been able to throw out a lot more Kiss songs on the spur of the moment. That was uh, that was brutal. Favorite thing to do on a non-hockey day? Uh, hang out with the guys or just relax. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yeah, I have one brother. Does he play hockey? Yeah, uh, he did. Oh yeah. Better than you. Yeah, he was a goalie, so I don't know. Hard to compare. Yeah. You would have come down the side and ripped a clapper top cheddar on him over and over. Best thing about being a North Star? Getting your skate sharpened for free. <laughs> That's awesome. Favorite movie? Um, I don't know. I don't have one. Too many. Step Brothers. That's a good one. Favorite, uh, which teammate do you think would make the best mayor? Tristan Galarno. <laughs> I'd, I'd vote for him. My mom would vote for him. She thought he was the best one minute. She'll probably like yours too. Um, favorite teacher? Uh, Mr. Fortune. Ooh, great pick, JD Fortune. White tape or black tape? Uh, both. You go with the zebra? Well, I used to use, a white, used to use white tape a lot, but I kind of switched to black tape this season. All right. Not stuck on either one. His name's actually Blair, not JD Fortune. Uh, best Christmas present you got this year? Um, uh, actually, I got a new suit. Oh, very good. Maybe we can get that on the show one of these days. That would be fantastic. That's one minute with Charles Moje. So, Drew Tate, you know, we're your Norman North, North Stars. Yeah, I'm okay. number. Hi, my name is Drew Tate Room for your Norman North Stars. My number is 26, position defense, hometown Norios, Manitoba Elementary School, Jack River School, favorite player, Brady Keeper. <laughs> the Austin Kaza episode 11, season five edition of the North Star Show is in the books. Thanks to Coach Corman for joining me and his thoughts on uh, what these guys have to do to make themselves shine in the second part of this season. Uh, thanks to Materia Land, Lavery Melstad, and Aiden Moore, as well as Coach Kevin Jeske from the Pee Wee A's. They're going to be right here 
in the CA Nesbitt Arena to play some games as part of the Prince Burscheid Tournament. Their first one's 12.30 on Saturday afternoon, or their showcase game Saturday. They got one Friday night as well. I'd also like to thank Charles Moje for one minute with him. A bit of a rambling interview, but uh, some great thoughts on his Christmas. In case you missed it last week, uh, the last episode, I got sort of whammied by Braden Pollock, a, a seemingly nice kid who hit me with some uh, pretty tricky answers to the one minute, uh, including enjoying having his eggs cooked by his math teacher. Uh, interesting reaction. You might want to go back and have a look at that. Prince Burscheid's coming up. Central Plains is in town to take on the North Stars. This is the North Star Show. Thanks for watching.